So today we're going to point out some basics of workspace and staff kitchen etiquette. Why don't we start with workspace etiquette? You want to begin? Uh, no, you go ahead. Okay. Well, with most staff offices these days, there's a real problem with privacy and quiet around one's desk. Ah, yeah, the dehumanizing cubicle jungle. You know, I guess it's just a matter of economics, but you know, some people don't even get a cubicle. Yeah, but we digress. Just because there are no doors doesn't mean you should just walk right up to a person's desk. You really should respect their space. Uh, vultures? You know, I require at least 38 inches of personal space. Mm. You know, you're way too close. You could give the person you want to see the courtesy of a virtual knock. Well, that sounds high tech. Well, not really. I don't get it. Well, look, you simply let your presence be known from a distance. Oh, that gives me some good ideas. Hey, are you busy? Also, if they seem to be in the middle of an important call or obviously very busy, don't hover. You can always send them an email, give them a call, or simply come back later. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay then, what if it's a personal call? Well, two things. If you're the one on the phone and you just have to take the call right then, all you can do is keep your voice down. He did what? Hold on. Those around you don't necessarily like being okay, distracted ahead. by your personal business. Well, you know, I have a problem with coworkers always listening in on my personal calls. Were you speaking quietly? I guess I do get a little loud if I have too much caffeine. Yes, I know. Well, in that case, you'd better go somewhere private like an empty meeting room. Or I could speak in another language. No, you could if you were both bilingual. Oh my god. 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 Okay, or learn Morse code. Or I could just blame my neighbors for being way too nosy. Maybe they just need some pointers on how to block out the conversation. Impossible. I can't. I'd have to put my fingers in my ears. Or you could play some music. No, that would just distract With the people. With the headphones on. You know, if you do hear something, you should just keep it to yourself. Yeah, right. You have such a dark view of human nature. You know, I know of more problems working so closely together. Like what? Uh, like disappearing scissors. What? Oh yes, or disappearing pens or notepads. Or Mountain Dew. Or whatever. You know, we used to call that stealing in the old days. What? I know some ways to stop that, though. Well, hopefully they just borrowed and forgot to return things. And you should also take care not to leave your things on other people's desks. Uh, okay, I'm guilty as charged on both counts. But can we move on to the staff kitchen etiquette now? What's the big hurry? Well, I'm getting kind of hungry. Okay, well, short and simple. First, clean up after yourself when you make a mess. Ooh, that reminds me. I, I caught my SpaghettiOs on fire in the microwave once. Did you clean it up? Well, I, I kind of took off after the fire department showed up. Of course. Well, second, the staff refrigerator isn't an open pasture. Don't graze on other people's food. Sounds like the disappearing scissors, only it's a sandwich or something. I know how to stop that one, too. I bet you do. <laughs> anyway, here's the last point for today. Please, please, don't leave your food in there to fester. Ooh, the science experiment. You know, I ate some tapioca pudding once. I, I think it was a little old. That's what the expiration dates are for. You know, I couldn't get off the couch for two days after that. You know, really, this whole etiquette thing sounds like a lot of common sense. Well, it's not that obvious for some of us. You know, maybe I should write a book. A book? Sure. I could, uh, I could call it Moral Ambiguity and the Death of Common Sense in Postmodern Societies. It sounds riveting. Yeah? No, not really. Oh, I, it was a thought. I think we're done here, so let's lose the personas and get this edited. Sounds good. You know I really am getting hungry. Must be the thought of that tapioca pudding. Please don't. Don't. But I think I will mosey down to the staff lounge and have a look around. You're not going to rifle through the refrigerator. Well, I, I thought I might. Well, wait up. I'll come with you.